Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, and this is Scorpio energy. So this is a card of endings. This is a card of letting go, releasing something, um, and seeing some sort of transformation take place. This could be within you or within the dynamic, but there is a feeling of something coming to an end so that something you can be birthed. Um, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Fire energy. The Justice card, Scorpio, Libra energy. And we have the Six of Cups. What's the energy? So there's someone here, you have some sort of history with them. This can be an on and off kind of connection. This is someone who can be hot and cold, in and out. With the Knight of Wands, they can be a bit non-committal, but you and this person have um, some sort of emotional attachment. There could have been this instant connection, a feeling of familiarity between you. But at the same time, there's something karmic about the connection. There's something about the connection that it, it's like, it's hard to ground this kind of connection, but it's it's very much felt here. Like you could even have dreams about this person. There could be some sort of past life energy with that Six of Cups. But with the Death card, it looks like this person could be reappearing in your life to give you some sort of um, closure or an apology with the Justice card here. There's a feeling of you being in a transition phase. It's like you're outgrowing something with this person or you're outgrowing this person, but you're getting some sort of closure or communication that is allowing you to move forward you're, you're there's a lot of change happening here but there's a feeling of a message here with this uh death card about release letting something go finally so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, so we have the tower and this is mars energy scorpio aries energy so this does look like something is coming to an end it's quite abrupt but it's time this is something that was um kind of like hanging on by a thread with the tower it's like it wasn't built on the right foundation and this person you're dealing with looks like a like a non-committal kind of person like a, an inconsistent player type of energy and it's there's some red flags that may have been overlooked until the tower just kind of kept on rising but the foundation wasn't strong and now something is is being shaken up here and this tower moment could have already happened but with the with the justice card it's like you're getting an apology or an explanation from this person and it's helping you to let this go to release this and move forward so let's see okay we have the ace of pentacles earth energy the wheel of fortune fixed sign energy and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So this was some sort of a deep spiritual lesson for you. It looks like it's triggered a major change in your life with the Wheel of Fortune. This was a blessing in disguise. This tower moment was. This Ace of Pentacles looks like that apology that's coming in. This person is coming in towards you and taking some level of accountability. And it does look like it's it's helping you in some way because it looks like a lesson has been learned here. Some sort of higher level of understanding is being um, received here you're aligning with your morals your your values and with the wheel of fortune it's like you're seeing something as having been a blessing in disguise something having had worked out in your favor even if at the time it felt like a tower moment okay so i'm gonna pull out an article card for you gemini Okay, so we have luck. Luck is on your side. 
new moon in Sagittarius. So something is really working out for you here. Um, it looks like something is definitely working out in, a, in your favor. It's leading you to some sort of a blessing. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. So we have soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this could be something like a past life soulmate um, with the six of cups. There's some something you're releasing, something tying you to your past and you're moving forward. And it looks like you could actually be moving towards a deep connection, a spiritual connection with the soulmate energy. But it does look like it's happening after a Tao moment, like someone you thought was the one, someone where you thought you were going to end up with them. Something about that situation ends in some way and you end up releasing it. But... It's like you get very fortunate here. You could be connecting with someone better, someone better than who you've let go of here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, we have youthful love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. So it looks like new love is coming towards you, something new that's still beginning, it's fresh, it's blossoming with this card. Um, but before you attract this or you, you meet this person or you enter into this connection, it looks like the past may come back around to, to be released. It's like it, the past is revisiting so that you can let it go. It looks like you're in a transition phase here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. have surrender to receiving support and love allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you so it looks like better is coming for you there's some sort of love that's coming towards you okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um gemini i hope you have a really really good day gemini bye gemini